long time ago in a kingdom there lived a young man who had a difficult life. He would go out every day to look for work earn some money and then come home to cook, eat and sleep. One day after searching for work without any success, he was walking home feeling disappointed. Just then he heard a voice from behind asking him can I find any labor here. He turned around and saw an old man standing there with three full bags. The young man replied yes I can do the work. The old man said I need to go to the next village which is little far from here. I can carry two bags myself but the third one is too heavy for me. Can you carry this one? I will give you three gold coins for it. The young man agreed and picked up one bag. As soon as he did, he realized how heavy it was and said, this bag seems very heavy. The old man whispered in response yes it is because it contains bronze coins. Despite the heavy load, the young man picked up the bag and started walking with the old man. While they walked, he noticed that the old man was keeping an eye on him. This led the young man to think the old man probably thinks I might run away with the bag. However I don't believe in dishonesty or theft. I am not going to betray his trust over some coins. I am only interested in earning my wage fairly. While walking a river came ahead. Young men immediately went in water to cross the river. But old man remained standing on the bank of river. Old man said I am too old, I cannot manage to carry two bags through this river. If I try, I might drown in the river. Can you carry one more bag with you? Don't worry about wage, I will give you three more gold coins. Young man agreed. As he went to pick up another bag, the old man hesitated and said, but promise you won't run away with this. The young man asked, why would I run away? The old man replied, whom can we trust these days? There are silver coins in this bag. The young man responded, do I look like a thief or a dishonest person? Don't worry I am not someone who cheats out of greed. Give me the bag. Saying this young man picked up second bag and crossed the river. Even silver coins could not deter him from his honesty. After walking for a while they reached a hill. The young man began to slowly climb it. But the old man stopped at the foot of the hill. Seeing this the young man called out, Come why did you stop? The old man replied, I am too old, I can't walk properly. It is difficult to climb this hill with this bag. The young man said okay then give me that bag. I will carry it for you. The old man hesitated and said, but there are gold coins in it. What if you run away with them, I am an old man I can't even chase after you. The young man raised his voice slightly and said, I have already told you I am not that kind of person. I work as a laborer because I value honesty. I used to be a bookkeeper for a money lender. He pressured me to cheat people by making false accounts, but I refused and had to quit my job. The old man was still doubtful but responded, I don't know whether you are telling the truth or not. Anyways come and pick up this bag of gold coins as well. I will follow you at my own pace. You can go ahead and then wait for me on the other side. The young man picked up the bag and continued on his way leaving the old man behind. As he walked, he thought, if I run away with these three bags, the old man won't be able to catch me and I will become rich forever. Then he thought this old man is too old. What he will do of so much money? He does not have left much life. But I am young, if I have this money then I will be wealthy then I could marry a beautiful woman and my life would be easier. With money I will have respect, luxury and comfort. Tempted by greed, he decided to run away with the three bags. 
he started running breathlessly with three bags. After running for some time finally he reached his home and opened the bags but he was shocked to see that there were no gold or silver coins in the bag. But it contained small stones, he wondered why old man lied to him, why he needed to do such drama. As he opened the bag the young man noticed a piece of paper. He picked it up and began to read. The message on the paper was I am the king of this kingdom, I have no heir and I am growing old. So I have been searching for an honest person to adopt as my child and successor. If you had not run away, you could have been that person. Reading this the young man was crushed by regret and remorse. All his life he had been honest. He had no intent to betray the old man. If he had ignored the fleeting thoughts of his mind, he could have been the successor of the king today. But a momentary lapse into those thoughts led him to make a decision that betrayed his values and cost him an opportunity which he will never have again. The story of the young man and the old man illustrates the power of thoughts and the profound impact of our thoughts on our life. It clearly shows us how our thoughts can shape our destiny. In this story the young man who was an honest person, let harmful thoughts take over his mind and did something that was against his principles. A thought came to his mind that if he run away with all the wealth, the old man wouldn't be able to chase after him. Now it would have been better if he had stopped his thoughts here. However he continued to think that running away with the money would make him very rich. His life would be very comfortable. He would marry a beautiful woman and live a happy life. The chain of thoughts progressed further and eventually greed took over his mind which prompted him to run away with all the three bags. This shows how quickly a negative thought can change our life. It is a reminder of how important it is to always be aware of what we are thinking. Buddha always used to say that our biggest enemy cannot harm us as much as our unguarded thoughts. According to Buddha, every action starts with a thought. Our thoughts turn into words, our words turn into actions. Our actions becomes habits and our habits decides our destiny. Therefore to avoid falling into negative thinking, it is important to keep check on our thoughts and think positively. By keeping an eye on our thoughts and aiming to think positively, we can guide our lives in a better direction. When we monitor our thoughts, we can control our minds and avoid making decisions that we might regret later. So as we go through the complex journey of life, it is important to carefully manage our thoughts. Our thoughts are like seeds that can grow into our destiny. By nurturing them wisely, we can ensure a bright future filled with peace and happiness.